Meantime, co-workers and neighbors of Lewis Coleman describe him as a nice and friendly guy who was always smiling. But one neighbor who lives below him told us another story today which is chilling. It's about something that that neighbor heard the night that Jesse Correa disappeared. WBZ's Bill Shields is live for us in Providence tonight with more on that part of the story. Bill? Dave, it's becoming apparent that Lewis Coleman maybe led kind of a double life. By daytime, a systems engineer for Raytheon. Nighttime, he went to the clubs a lot. And some of the people at his apartment building here in Providence, they knew full well about that nightlife. I live right there. Right, yeah. And we heard helicopters overhead. And my wife and I were saying, why don't they go away? What is all that? Louis Dana lives right next to the apartment building, the loft apartments where 23-year-old Jesse Correa may have been murdered and mutilated. These days, nothing surprises you. When Delaware police stopped Louis Coleman yesterday afternoon, they found Jesse Correa's remains in the trunk, apparently in two suitcases. Coleman was charged with being a fugitive wanted for murder and mutilation of a human body. He's a nice guy, he, but who knows now? now? Nowadays, you don't know. His name is Joey, and he lives in the loft apartment directly beneath Lewis Coleman. And he says Coleman often came home late and loud. Joey also said Coleman woke him up early Thursday morning. I heard, like, someone, like, hurrying up, like, dragging, not dragging, um, like he was like opening drawers and shutting drawers and just we heard rustles like 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 he was coming in from a um a club and coleman is still in the custody of the delaware police right now but he should be back either here in providence on monday or possibly boston reporting live from providence i'm bill shields wbz news